Good evening, my name is Christina, I'm a nurse practitioner student. Did you know that one in eight women um, will be diagnosed with breast cancer at some point in their life? So today I'm going to discuss with you about self-breast exams, updates, recommendations, and techniques. Self-breast exams have been controversial within the medical community. At the end of the Shanghai trial in 2002, changes and recommendations were made in regards to self-breast exams. The Shanghai trial concluded that the performance of self-breast exams did not show any reduction in breast cancer mortality. Recommendations that were changed, the U.S. Preventative Services Task Force, American Cancer Society, ACOG, recommended against self-breast exams, which is defined as a systematic routine exam done by the patient. However, approximately 50% of cases of breast cancer in women 50 years and older and 70% of cases of breast cancer in women 50 years and younger are detected by the woman themselves. A study done by Mayo Clinic showed that 43% of patients had a palpable presentation. Christina, practitioner student. Hey. So I hear you're here for your women's health exam and you had some questions about self-breast exam. Yes. Okay. So um, we're going to go over some techniques that you can do at home. Okay. So um, self-breast exams can be done um, lying down. It can be done in the shower. It can be done in front of the mirror. Okay. Um, and it can be done doing the circular motion, the wedge motion, or the up and down motion. Okay. Okay. And when you do these, you want to do it with different types of pressure. You want to do a light pressure, a medium pressure, and a firm pressure. Okay. Okay. Um, when you look in the mirror, you want to look at your breast and see if there's any changes in the color, um, any dimples. You want to check for your nipple as well for any discharge. So first of all, you want to do one breast at a time. So you'll put this hand behind your head and then you'll, you know, palpate this breast and then you'll do the opposite and then you'll do that one. Okay. okay? So we'll just do it on this one breast. But for the circular motion, you want to start at the nipple and then work your way out. Okay. And then do it with three types of pressure here. You don't have to do that today, but and then make sure also that you get up underneath your armpit as well. Okay. okay. And then the next one be the up and down. So you want to start at the outer side and you'll go um, down and up all the way across okay. your breast. Kind of like a lawnmower. Okay. And you also want to go underneath your armpit as well. And the next one um, would be the wedge, which is kind of, if you want to think of a pizza, like slices, but you'll go um, out from the nipple and come out out in the nipple and kind of go all the way around but a lot of women do the um, the circular motion or the up and down so you don't miss any breast tissue okay. Okay. okay and just remember um, to also check up in here as well when you do your breast exams And don't forget also today we're just doing the one but do the light and the medium and the firm pressure. Okay. Um, also an important thing to remember is to do your breast exams after your period, a couple days after your period, because your period can cause changes in your breast tissue. Oh, okay. Okay? okay. Do you have any questions? I don't think so. All right, thank you. thank you. It is important as clinicians to counsel our patients about the benefits and limitations of self-breast exams and to encourage and recommend mammograms based on the current guidelines.